Well, good morning, kindred spirits. It is Sunday, and I wasn't going to do a video today, but I also promised you I was going to show some of my Easter decor, but I'm having a little snafu here. It's snowing, and some of it I was going to do outside. I jinxed us by saying that the warm weather was here. Our neighbors to the north are expected to get about a foot. I think we are expected to get about six inches, which will go fast because then it's supposed to be followed by rain. But while Willow is patiently waiting to go outside, I'm just going to show you a few things here in the kitchen. And there, it's very small, but once again, I promised, and so I thought I would share it here. So here over on the kitchen counter, I did a very little display. Let me put on, oops, let me put on a light here. See if it shows it up any better. A little bit. I have many thrifted items here. This rabbit plate, you've probably seen it year after year that I found. The colors in this plate I absolutely love. Oh, we got a little flashing light because it is an LED light. I do not like LED bulbs. I'm going to put over another overhead light. Let's see, and we'll put it on high. There we go. All right, so let's get back to our little vignette here. And like I said, just a little few things. I've had this rabbit plate for years. I love the color of it. And then last fall, I picked up these chicken salt and pepper shakers. I thought it was appropriate to have them next to these wooden eggs that I found years ago. I do not remember where I got these, but they are so realistic. This one actually sounds like foam. I have wood and foam attached, and I have them in an old basket. I think this is a clamming basket, if I'm not mistaken, and I have another basket that I do believe is for chicken eggs. I could be wrong. This could also be for chicken eggs, but um, I have a feeling I saw this with a clamming digger. If you know for sure, not guessing, if you know for sure, please let me know. <laughs> and I have one of the apple orchard candles burning here. I just got a lot more in stock. The apple orchard and the balsam citrus we're always going to have in stock. So um, if they sell out, don't worry, they keep coming back. So I do have here, like I said, all these little thrifted items. And I pulled out some books that have... A little bit of that fun, brighter green, just to help me think of spring. And then in Thursday's video, I showed this little arrangement that I worked on. These are the paper white dried flowers that I still have here. I'm going to put those away with my other collection of dried flowers. But this is the basket that I spoke of. I just added some pussy willows and I just put in that little forsythia piece because it was on the floor when I picked it up and that's where it ended. And I just cut off the flowers of the paper whites and I did keep watering this just so that it would stay green. So there is still water inside. One from this away, I'm gonna show you. Here are two of the three dried artichokes. The others is on the other side of the rooster. Now, I thought it was interesting our house is very dry, and these were also organic artichokes, so I'm not sure if the fact that they were organic is the reason, or the fact that our house is so dry, they dried fast, that the inside didn't turn white like my other. So I'm going to actually try a non-organic artichoke next, but I love how it came out, and if I wanted, I could actually you know, paint this up a little bit with some opalescent creamy paint in the middle if I chose, but I don't think that's necessary. I'm going to go around to the other side here and I've got our rooster. And just to show you over here, these are the other flower petals that I just recently took off from some flowers that I had here in the kitchen. Tulips and irises. Those will also go in storage soon. And I think the other, let's see here. Yes, and here's the other little artichoke. If we can see that easy enough. 
I could put the lights on really bright, but it's still, it's, well, it's only seven o'clock. It's seven, but it's still fairly early. I don't want the bright lights on. And I'm getting ready to just go through some old Victoria magazines just to inspire me for some ideas and forget that it's snowing outside. I was just looking at how different the logo is when they went through some branding changes. And then here on the table, the bunny's still here with the little garland that I picked up. I decided to hold off setting the table because I will be using the family china and I will show that in a while. I'll pull it out just for you to see. But I don't want it out for a week here on the table and having to move it. So I'm going to set that up a little bit later. We had some friends over last night, so I still have some napkins to put away. And I put flowers that were on the counter. I had them on the end here. These were in the background in Thursday's video. Carnations, which unfortunately, they don't have any smell. I love the smell of carnations. I think they've always had a bad rap. Oh my goodness, I'm looking at all of the birds here. Talk about, I got a little distracted. I'm gonna do a little zoom in. Oops. They were on all of the tree limbs. And there's some goldfinches in there. They're enjoying the bird feeder, which we're discussing when we should move because the bears will be out soon and we don't want them that close to the house. But back to the flowers. I really love carnations. I love the scent. It actually reminds me of a nail polish that came out in the 70s. It was scented and I had carnation and rose scented nail polish and Gerber daisies. Those last for so long. I do enjoy having Gerber daisies in the house as well. So I just put them here in the vase and I put the vase once we were ready to sit at the table here at the end just so nobody would sit here. Reason being this chair got broken during the move to Groton. It just started getting worse so I have to somehow fix this and make sure it doesn't get worse. So this was kind of my way of saying but not saying, don't sit here. <laughs> and on the mantle, I think I will put on the lights to show you, I finished the two egg trees. One of them was done last year, I ran out of the eggs. I had the cone already made with the, the dried Spanish moss on it and finally finished it. So now I have two. I have these little bunny ornaments here. I just liked the color that was with Queen Bess and I might move those around a bit. I still have more Easter in the loft. And like I said, today was gonna to be the day I decorate, but it's snowing. I just can't get in the mood yet, yet. So let's see here. And I did take a picture the other day with the eggs lit up. light on here I guess I will now over here I just put in remember this little pot that I got for four dollars at a consignment store I just put some faux greens in here and this cute little bunny rabbit that I bought last year he was in another floral display an herb display I did last year so and I don't know where this is going to end up yet so I just put it here so that's it here in the kitchen right now. Now Willow, I'm sure, is anxious to go outside. I haven't done anything here on the porch yet other than I have something I need to do. Let's see here. I brought the rosemary out here to start to acclimate them to a little bit cooler weather and they need a trim because out here, um, you can see a little bit more of that some of the new foliage that grew I just got to trim that off and just get it nice and healthy and hopefully it will make it outside. This bunny has been here. I didn't add that extra, but I have this ceramic bunny. Unfortunately, the mate that was outside completely shattered in the winter. I mean, pieces. Um, so unfortunately, one was inside, one was outside. So that's it right now. I have some wreaths that I put on the doors outside. 
but I'm going to let Willow out. She wants to go get the birds. And I'm going to let her be the first on the snow. And there she goes. So like I said, they said it's going to turn to rain. But it looks like I will not be gardening. And that's why you are getting a Sunday video. Because the reason I've decided to not do Sunday videos going into the new season was so that I could enjoy being in the gardens and being with family and doing other things. Well, today, Saturday, this is what I have. So I'm going to finish my wallpapering. I'm almost done. I might even be able to show that in the video if I get it done in time to put into this. And if I get some things out of the loft, I will show you a few more spring touches. Well, actually not spring, Easter, because I have a lot more I can do for spring. While I wait for Willow, I guess I can answer a question that has been asked a few times uh, regarding the makeover of the garage here. And we thought it was going to be started this spring. Two weeks ago, we got notice from the builder we thought we were going to be working with telling us that he has too many projects that he took on and there were new house builds that he prefers to do versus working on a shed. Now he said he wanted to do it and was looking forward to doing it and he loves to work on old homes, but it just didn't work out. So we're starting on square one again. So we have a meeting next week with an architect and then last night the friends we had over, one of them is an architect, so we were showing her some of our plans and ideas and she may be coming up with some things for us and it was kind of exciting. She said they even do like a laser grid sketch of the whole property in the building. So that sounded interesting to us. But what we were discussing is the garage would look very similar and we have a lot of pictures I'll show you. It would be similar from the front with some dormers but it would extend off to the back to possibly that outer corner of the, the uh, stone wall. Now this part of the stone wall is not original. I think they put this up when they took out or built did the in-ground pool. But so it would, might be extended out that long with Ben's office upstairs. Um, like I said, I will show you a lot of pictures that we showed her for our inspiration. Oh, here comes Willow, which means she went to the office. Oh, and did her business. I don't know where she went now. <laughs> I just love seeing all the birds out here. Look at the two on either side. Can you see that? That's so cute. Yeah, they're enjoying, I think, the snow, but also having the seed here. I don't know where Willow went. But yes, anyway, I'm going to show you some pictures of what we have been sharing for inspiration and part of it was inspired by our loving to go to Martha's Vineyard and staying at the Charlotte Inn in the carriage house. That was part of our inspiration. It looks beautiful with a cape. Okay, we're in. Part of our, our morning routine is, oh, she has snow on her nose. Wait a minute, come here. <laughs> she comes in here and she waits for her treat. And we are actually still working through the little peanut butter treats that I made quite a while ago. So, right? All right, so let me go pull out those pictures now so I don't forget. And then I'm going to sit, I haven't even had coffee yet. I'm gonna sit by the fire and look at magazines and enjoy my Saturday morning. I grabbed the book, but I realized I do have one more thing I can show you right now, especially since I'm coming in for my coffee. I have this little area to greet us each morning. I have this little rabbit. He has a mate. I think that's still up in the shed that's holding a pizza, which could probably go in here because I do have the board I love to use to take our pizza out. I use that all of the time when I use my pizza stone. So over here I have, once again, this little rabbit that every day when I go for one of my coffee mugs I get to enjoy. And then I have some more of the eggs. These are also foam. 
don't know where I got those. So I'm gonna have my coffee in a second, but over here, I haven't done a lot once again. I added the two ceramic bunnies that I purchased last year at, let's see, these were got at Robin's Egg, Robin's Egg in Amherst. I don't know if she has any more again this year, but that's where I got those. And I just liked how the brown played on the brown of the picture here. My pecans have not moved. I still have, you know, I have some cleanup to do here. But um, just trying to keep a little organized. But when you're busy, you do what you can do, right? All right, so I'm going to grab my coffee here and show you those um, pictures. Okay. I can't believe it's snowing, but then, like I said, We had almost four feet of snow here, and I forgot to insert the picture. Hopefully, I'll remember to insert it in this video here. Okay, so I'm going to open this up and just show you some of the things that we have. And it's funny, I have on here at the end of this folder, Romancing the Home. This is from a book from Mary Carol Garrity. I had two of them and I ended up making a copy just so I can remember which of these folders have some of our inspiration. So when we met with the builders and the architects, I first have here, oops, I don't know what that is. I had here an aerial view that I took when I was up in the crane. So I took this photo. I wish I had a little bit further back, but what we were discussing is bringing the garage back to this point here. It's a little deceiving. Sugarwood is a little deceiving. I, has, I classified her as a mullet. Serious in the front, party in the back. So I'm just gonna go through these real quick because you will see a little bit, oh, I don't know, tape, I don't know how that happened. So this is a, a kind of a sketch that I used my iPad on just to show my idea of having this little connection tie into the back of the house and then what the garage would look like, potentially. <laughs> it's a little crude, but it, it was helpful. And then Ben did something on his Excel to kind of show that he was thinking of a place for the cars and then this back section would be where we had a large table for gatherings or if we needed to put in some extra equipment that we could move out during gatherings, things like that. Now that I'm at the new studio, I don't need the barn for my work because I really am loving where I am. So I don't foresee needing to move. So once again, you're gonna see kind of a, um, a similar pattern here of what we were trying to show them. We're going for a carriage house look. So this one has an entrance at the front. It was me kind of showing that there was an angle that we could put that little addition off of. I have been saving pictures of capes for I don't know how long. So this was before we even purchased Sugarwood and I was, this was kind of like when I was visualizing and dreaming of homes that I wanted or what to look for and the capes were on there. This is a little bit of overkill with the window boxes, but once again, kind of like the cupola, but I'm not sure. We already have our weather vane. This is one with the connection. And let's see. So once again, it's just all of these are both at the same. We have a whole similar look. Our friend last night really liked this one, which of course we did too. It has a lot of larger space that Ben could work upstairs. And the reason, we're not just doing this for Ben's office, I should add, um, my stepdaughter has severe special needs and at one point she may be living with us full time 
or we, you know, we don't know. There's a lot of plans that are, are in the works. So if she's with us full time as we age, as she ages, we need a place for her to live that would also have space for a caretaker. So this is, you know, we're looking at also this as an option. You know, so here, you know, once again, you can see the whole pattern here. And I, this is kind of the connection I was envisioning. So you have see right in through to the backyard, but when we age, we can go to the garage without having going out into the snow. And that one I'm not too keen of. But this was kind of the inspiration photo. And then our trip, every time we go to Martha's Vineyard, the carriage house there, we just absolutely adore the look. So that is kind of where we're heading. Now off the side of the house, we also need something to cover the entrance. And we need to redo that because the threshold is completely rotted. Some of you may remember I repaired it temporarily last year. And even some of the boards coming into the porch have rotted. So this whole, I should say, this whole side entrance here, let me see, are we in view? I'd show myself, but I still have my morning hair, just so you know. This whole side entrance, we might need to do some sort of cover because if you do step out, it is quite icy and we need a lot of work done there. Even the stones stepping up are starting to break up. So, hmm. all right. So that's what we did last night and why our garage has not started like we thought this spring but this is the plan that we're heading towards and i will also mention at this point that there has been discussion and i actually had a nightmare about this i had a nightmare that we found a house not looking we found a house that had this look that we're in with a barn and that the cost of the house was less than us building a barn. So Ben wrote a check, we bought the house, and I literally drove home and said, what are my kindred spirits going to think? I was absolutely crying in my dream. What are my kindred spirits going to think? But here's the thing. We've also been looking for a VRBO. It's not something we've been working on hard and heavy, but it's something we have been discussing and looking at, finding an antique to make into a luxury VRBO for kindred spirits to visit. So then I said, well, if that's the case, Sugarwood will become the VRBO. Now, like I said, this was a dream. Don't jump to conclusions, it was a dream. But let me ask you, if Sugarwood was a VRBO, who would like to visit? Who would love to come to the Monadnock region near shopping, golfing, hiking, and stay in a historic home that's been completely done over? Just curious. Like I said, it was, it was part of a nightmare. But the only thing that made me feel better was like, well, instead of finding another BRBO, <laughs> we'd make Sugarwood it. So I can't even believe I shared that out loud because it's nothing. It's, a, it's, it's nothing that we were actually following through with right now. But anyway, yeah, nightmare. Well, the snow has turned to ice rain and the lights keep flickering. I just finished, I just finished, hi Willow. I just finished the wallpapering and I am gonna head inside now because she is done and we need to get in where it's dry.
Then my stepson just went to look for a tree that came down. We could hear it crash. Generator's going.